Hey, it's Jeremy Bowers over here at Coal Bank Referred. Just want to reach out to you guys today and see if we can give you some input from another hustler here, Scotty Galkson. And we wanted to talk to you today about what Scott has experienced, how he can give back. His business is on to the next level. And uh, we believe in life. If people give to you, you should give back to others. So, Scott, uh, where'd you grow up? Westchester. Okay. And then where did you move after that? Uh, I came out of Marionk, Roxborough. Okay. And then from there, you just recently moved back, right? Yeah, I'm moving back in the process. I'm moving back right now. I was there for eight years and uh, really liked that neighborhood a lot. So I just really wanted to focus on that neighborhood. Did a lot of business out there. Now I'm moving to Westchester, going to transition back there. Got a lot of buddies out there that I went to school with. But then I still don't, don't want to lose my manual business. So. Yeah. So before real estate, what did you do before real estate? Right out of college, uh, I got my license. You're with Westchester, um, right? Yeah. I mean, short little stint of doing credit card and merchant sales so i was hitting like 70 80 doors a day charging 99 <laughs> percent. it was tough and i was you know out the door at 7 a.m coming home at like 7 at night maybe going to the gym going to sleep or eating dinner going to sleep and then waking up and doing the whole thing again it just was horrible <laughs> so you worked at another firm before you were doing good yeah you took a test drive and you went to one of our events right right and another agent brought you to an event, and uh, what did you see when you came to one of our events? Yeah, I was just amazed because I heard of Jeremy before because he was a, a top agent in like the Conshohocken area, and I always saw his listings everywhere because he had tons of listings. But then I kind of figured out that he was a manager, and then he was like willing to share a lot of his tips, and it was kind of surprising. One of the agents we called a banker at the time invited me out there. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll check it out. I always like to learn. and. Uh, yeah, it was just pretty amazing like what went on there. Um, it was Jeff Quentin from yeah. one of the top realtors over in New Jersey. So um, It was in here, right? It was in this office, it, right? We had the two yeah, rooms. Yeah, it was right here. So, I mean, I learned a lot from that. And then Jeremy kept on inviting me to these different events. And I was just so taken back because we didn't offer any of that in my other previous companies. So it was just amazing what kind of information he was willing to share. And I wasn't even with his company yet. So. And how much business were you doing and how much business are you doing now? <sighs> I was probably, for like two years I remember, I was selling like two deals a month, so 24 a year about that, probably like five million maybe, and then last year I did 38 houses I sold, and my average price is probably between 200 and 400,000, um, I don't go much lower than that, and then um, this year I'm on pace to probably do like 48 maybe, so about like four to six a month usually, depending on the month, so. So, awesome year. What's the next step? What are we working on right now in your business? So I had a virtual assistant. Now I'm switching over to like a full-time assistant that's kind of in the office that can help me, that knows their stuff and I don't have to keep checking their stuff, which is probably a little bit better. So um, yeah, it's really gonna help me free up time to do more networking, which I kind of lack of doing because I got three kids right now and I'm just always at home, but I would like to start networking more, going out and just seeing people, past clients, maybe having a past client uh, party for them and uh, just kind of try to treat everyone the best I can. We definitely got to do that in October before everybody has their parties in November and December. We should talk about that yeah. and try to plan one in October. I talked to Tandra about that. We definitely got to do that. Okay. So in the office, since you've been here, what have you leveraged the most that you think has helped your business? Uh, honestly, the best thing I leveraged was Jeremy himself, actually, just as a good resource. I don't come in here that often, so if I need something I'll usually call Jeremy he gives me good advice he checks in with me almost every day seeing how my business is going if he can help me out with anything and I always have questions I'm always trying to learn and it's just I know Jeremy I can just learn so much from him I still can so that's why I like giving him a call but also in the office it is good because there is a good like um, group of agents that are always willing to share so I will talk to them bounce ideas off each other they pick up stuff from me I pick up stuff from them it just helps each other out. So. so check this out. So he's moving from the city to the suburbs, <laughs> and he can still leverage our company. So which office, if you want to show houses out there, you can can you easily just go into our other offices and utilize them and have a key and do whatever you want? Yeah. I mean, I close a lot of my deals in the Conshohocken office. It's just a lot more convenient to Maniunk. And then in Westchester, there's an excellent office that's basically brand new. Uh, I may think it's like a two years old. And uh, so I'll pop in there if I need to do a closing or if I need to print stuff out, talk to people. So if he needs keys, printers, he can use our media office, Exton office, um, Wayne office, Bluebell, Concha Hawk, and the city offices. If he's down in Delaware, New Jersey, 
our offices are all owned by the same company, so it's not independent franchises. He can physically get a key, and it's the same printers, and he can leverage them just like it is the city office. It's huge. I did business in the city and suburbs. It's one of the things that I always loved about it. if I met a client somewhere else. You felt like you were home anywhere you went. Right. Where some yeah. companies, it's like, ah, oh, different franchise, whatever, and other ones are, yeah. Ours is just wide open, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think you, I think next your next step is you're going to be able to leverage that suburb connection and the city connection based upon where you live, right? Yep. You definitely. said your sales price has been going up, right? Yeah, definitely. What, what do you think right now? You've been showing recently. Yeah, three hundred to five fifty, six hundred. Because your friends are upgrading a house. Yeah, they're all at that point. Yeah, exactly. They're buying their next house. We're having kids now, and so they want a bigger house. And yeah, so. so check us out. So Scott, how do you keep yourself? Organize like in the, in the office we talk about these notebooks and actually I ran out of them again and we're so busy right now I got to get more made up for people and I have people leverage them but they more people should be leveraging them one thing I've always impressed with you man is I, I remember the first time I ever met you you always had a um, notebook with you mm -hmm. and I still have it and we've connected on that and tell them about your notebook how do you keep organized your notebook I just keep everything in one notebook it's my calendar it's everything I need to do in a day so I can sit there and look at the entire week ahead of time and just make sure I hit everything that week and if I missed it then I gotta go back finish it before I start my new week so I don't know it's just easier for me to like write things down and just go after it that way when I don't I can't rely on a phone I had some horrible phones in the past the battery would die and then I can't I just like couldn't go on like that so what happens like actions and habits do you think a person's better off putting their actions and habits in a computer or are they better off having them in a notebook I mean I like the notebook because it just makes me stick to it really and I when I write it down it just I can remember it better when I write things down yep. so and I, it just works out great for me so whatever works for people but I just like it and it's been working well for me and it's right in front of you yeah cause I always you know, if my, one of my clients, I'll just go back and it's in my book. So, like, it's just easy to remember all the notes. I like to take a lot of notes when I'm on the phone with everybody. So, um, I could go back and see those notes and see exactly what's going on. So, you got a couple of distractions. You got three kids. Yeah. <laughs> you sell a lot of real estate. You invest in real estate. How do you keep focused, man? How do you, how do you keep balanced? Well, I mean, that's the trouble I was having in the past. But now it's just... I mean, when you start making good money, it really just pushes you on and, you know, to go on, like, vacations and be able to give things to your kids. So, for me, it's like, you know, with Jeremy, he just taught me that mindset and just waking up early and preparing the night before, going to the gym early, which is, like, what I love to do and just clear my mind and think clearly about some ideas for the day. So, I started doing that, and that's what just kind of pumps me up every day, just keep on going become one of the, like, one of the top agents because, like, for me, I played a lot of baseball and football, and, like, it was always, like, a competition you know, fighting for like the starting role or whatever. So, you know, for me, it was just like, that kind of feels like sports to me. Yep. It's like, you know, pushing each other around, you know, pushing them on. <laughs> I guess you try, try to be the better agent, you know, and just try to help each other out. But at the same time, like it is kind of a competition. You want to be on the top of the board. Did you, what time do you go to bed at night? I, it kind of fluctuates with the kids, but, uh, you know, I try, if I can get perfect world, if I can get to bed at like, 10 o'clock, that would be great, because I can wake up at like 5.30 and be, get on my day. But, you know, sometimes I go to sleep at 11, yeah. and then I'll wake up at like 6.30, okay. 7. So. Cool. What tip could you give to someone out there right now? A, is not happy at their job. B, they're in a property management job. Or C, they're in another company. And, and let's go with the last one, because this was you. You were doing well at your other company, right? Decent. But you only knew what you knew. Yeah. Why should a person take a free test drive of one of our large events that we're having um, in September or come to one of our trainings or grab a bite to eat with me? Why do you think a person should do that? I, mean, I just feel like you kind of get stuck in your own ways when you're working for a company. And, and to try something new like that, I could really open my eyes to bigger and better things. And it just made me hustle harder. So I don't know. I just felt like I was plateaued for a while. And I just was doing the same thing over and over again. And then Jeremy just opened my eyes up to just bigger ways to in bigger business and just I'm just hitting it at different angles like I didn't really do much prospecting before I don't even do that much right now but I I know that that's there in case it does slow down I can start doing that to pick up more business so love it man so congrats Thank so you. Jeremy Bowers if you want to hit us up 215-370-9107 you can take a hit on YouTube at Jeremy Bowers or Scott how they get in touch with you my cell phone number is 610-453-9898 Moving to the suburbs now, so please keep me in mind out in Westchester, that area of Downingtown. So, um, yep, that's it. Appreciate it. Thanks.